Hi, Ryan. Hi. My name's Hannah. I'm going to be doing your palm reading today. Is this your first time getting this done? Yes. Okay. Have you ever had any type of reading, a birth, a birth date reading, a, a tarot card reading, anything? No. Okay, wonderful. So what I'm going to suggest is we start out by just doing a general reading today. So not going in looking for anything specific, uh, just looking at all of the lines in the hand and making a note of anything that we can follow up on our next session. All right? Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just put out some stones. And the stones just help balance out the energy so we can get a true reading. I'm also going to light a candle. And this also just helps clear out some of the energy in the room and just opens up our bodies and minds to be more perceptive and open to the reading. Okay. How are you feeling? Mm, relaxed. Good. Okay. Uh, are you right handed or left handed? Right handed. Okay, Ryan, give me your right hand. I'm just going to have you set it right here. And just relax your palm. I'm going to be using the stone and just starting it out on neutral and seeing where any energy spikes might occur. Seeing a little bit of circling right in the middle of the palm. It's the center of the strength. And pretty stable towards the hand of the palm. And we're seeing a lot of movement in that thumb there, so we'll take a look at that. There are some important lines right here. And let me just stabilize again. And a little bit on the tops of the fingers there. as well. A little bit of energy circulating. This is giving us the cross motion instead of the circle kind of going back and forth and across. So we do want to pay attention there. Let me stabilize again. And everything looks nice and nice and stable there. Good energy flow. Okay. Right, the next thing I want to do is take a quick inspection. I'm just going to get a closer look with a magnifying glass. Okay. So first thing I want to look at is the lifeline. And that's that big long one here. From the heel of the palm up to middle. Looks like a decently long, uninterrupted line. Do you see a little bit of disruption, disruption right at the end? Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll have a lot of issues at the end of your life. It just may mean that your life may have a lot of changes at the end. Um, that's not uncommon. As we know, the older we get, the more susceptible we may be to losing family members or life changing our life, such as moving away or trying to... Uh, go on a lot more trips, so that, that could mean a number of things. But yeah, definitely a, quite a bit of fractures at the end of the line. That's very straight and smooth for the rest of it. Looking. Looks like you had a couple of relationships earlier in life, and you've had one sort of consistent one since then. Is that the case? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that, those relationships were pretty, pretty weak lines. They certainly made an impact on you, but 
Uh, the, this one is so much deeper. See that, that long love line mm. versus these smaller crisscross ones it kind of means that you know maybe you even when you were in a relationship or had love in your life there was some uns uncertainty there uh, that there was fractures in that line Let's put your hand up like this for me please I just want to take a look right there I see in your hands you're a very sensitive person. You have a lot of fractures in your lines and that generally means you're a more empathetic person. You're gonna react more to things that are happening in your life. Someone who's maybe more headstrong and focused on themselves, individual person is going to have really strong lines that are not going to be fractured. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you find that to be true, but that's what I'm seeing here in your hands. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you do a creative job? Yeah. That makes sense to me. You definitely react to events that occur for you outside of you, and it, it makes an impact here. I'm just have you flip your hand so I can see that side of it. Perfect, thank you. I do see some non-romantic love in your life. I'm not sure at this point if it looks like it's going to be offspring. It may be a different type of non-romantic love. But I can see that you are a caregiver. Uh, you are someone who's going to make sure other people's needs are met before your own. Back over to the front here. Just taking a look. What can often happen with caregivers is that some of those reactive experiences mean that you're letting others make your decisions for you. So just be on the lookout for that. If you feel like you're at a crossroads, you know, see, are you making the decision or are you letting events make the decision for you? Let's just take a look. I remember right here we had a big energy spike. I'm not I'm sure. It's it's kind of hard to read. Hmm. What I think this is 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 basically saying it's a it's passion line, and I think it means that your passion is going to change. So you said you were creative. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's always going to be the case. I'm not sure. Shake that hand out for me a little bit. Let's take one last look. Make a palm. Squeeze really hard and then release. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and put that back in your hand. Relax. Just take a deep breath and let it out. And I'll take a look at the other hand. So the first thing I'm going to do is just inspect, take a quick look at everything, and let's take a look with the energy. So just relax the best you can. Good. I'm going to start in a position of stillness. Ooh, this one does not want to stay still. I definitely want to take a look at that. Let me try to just one more time. Man, there's a lot of energy swirling right here. Can you feel how that's mm -hmm. interacting there? Yeah. Okay, let's move around a little. It's okay. A little bit there, nothing too bad. Looks good. And about that same point as we had on the other hand there. Mm. So I'll take a deeper look. I'll see if there's anything new I can discern from that hand. A little bit at that tip. No, that looks okay. Mm. All right. 
so let's take a look. All right, you see this line right here? Mm -hmm. See how it's not straight? There's a couple of places where it's disjointed there. That's telling me that you had some, you know, issues in your childhood of not really being sure of who you are and feeling like you wanted to maybe rebel a little bit. Again, not unusual, but I'm definitely seeing that there, showing that maybe you had a tentative relationship with people you loved, but it's, it's, so in the very beginning, there's about three lines that are jagged and then it starts to smooth out. So I'm seeing now that that's, that's healed quite a bit. Great. That's crazy. I'm just going to take a look where we had that energy spike. There's a lot going on here. I think what it's saying, you know, is that you're just not done changing. Um, I mean, you're still relatively young, but you're certainly an adult and so we usually see these lines solidify a little bit more, but I think, you know, you're certainly still very malleable and, and you're changing every day and your feelings about things are changing. And I think you should listen and explore that a little bit more. I actually think if you come back another time, a card reading would be beneficial to help you with your future. a little bit over here. Remember energy spiking? I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Could just be need a little bit of a cleansing. Can you go up like that for me, please? Perfect. Perfect. So this hand's confirming a lot what I saw on the other side. You're very uh, reactionary compared to uh, someone who is more actionary. That's not a bad thing. You know, it, it means that you, you take care of others and you're a selfless person. But I almost wonder if that those changes that you still have left uh, are pertaining to the fact that you'll follow a path that's truly your own. Um, but, you know, it's just not a science palm reading, and so much of it is what you make it. You know, I can give you some direction, but in the end, you'll make your own decisions, and it's not a predestined thing, you know. Okay, you can do the same thing. Can you turn to the other side? Perfect. Have you recently had any big changes with your career? Yeah, I was recently brought on full time. Oh, amazing. So I actually don't see that to be particularly long line here, if that is what I'm seeing. Um, I think it's possible there's more change to come. But it's all about interpreting and your own decisions, like I said. Okay set this down. Go ahead and put both hands up here for me. I'm just going to do a little bit of fire cleansing. Is this okay here? Mm -hmm. Not too hot? flip your hands over for me. I'm going to give you a couple of stones to just hold. So go ahead and close that palm. Mm -hmm. and close that palm and give you some clear quartz. I'm going to continue. Just a gentle grip.
gently release. I'm just gonna get the this out one more time. Just want to check those center of those palms. See if that's cleared up a little. Definitely a little bit of movement still, a little bit of blockage, but much clearer than it once was. Okay. Go ahead and relax for me, Ryan. So my predictions are essentially you're an incredibly empathetic person. You react to what's going on around you and that can change the direction of your destinies but you also have total control over that. So as you experience these changes, these upcoming changes that I see for you, you know, you'll just have to decide what you want and make some make some choices based on your own your own experiences and and what you as a person feels best. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Good. Thank okay. you. Do you have any other questions for me? Um not right now. No. Okay. Thank Perfect. You. No worries. So I would just suggest coming back for a tarot reading maybe in about six months after you've uh, had some time to process this experience and uh, we can go from there. Okay. Thank Sounds you. Great. Thank you.